I'm Grace Pandarvis. And we are Merlin and Grace. <laughs> and this channel is going to be following our gap year throughout Europe. Where we post lots of vlogs. Vlogs each week in all of our different places because we'll be hitting so many different countries in Europe. We'll be traveling for eight months by ourselves, not coming home. Eight months. And we'll talk about that in this video. Yes. You'll hear details in this video and why we're doing it, how we're doing it, what the goal of this channel is, where we're going. So we both live in this super tiny town. And when most people think of tiny towns, they think like 10,000. Mm -hmm. Our high school graduating class, we just graduated from high school, had 17 people in it. And that was the biggest class. Biggest class. That was a big class, 17 people. Yeah. But so when we like first came up with the idea and we were telling people at school and like telling our teachers, a lot of them were just like, like, are you serious? Like, that's not a good, like they didn't yeah, like believe, to go to college. like they didn't believe that we had actually end up doing it and we're just like not supportive really. Like some of our teachers were, but not really what we were expecting because both of like our families like supported it and wanted us to do it because they knew like the benefits. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that was kind of, but it didn't really stop us because we knew we wanted to do it. So we decided this in February? Like Feb yeah, January, February. Like September now. So that was like halfway through our senior year. Uh -huh. So the whole first part of senior year. We were like year, college, scholarships. Yeah, we were out college. And yeah. like I had been kind of thinking about doing this and I was like, no, like I don't really want to. You went and toured colleges. Yeah. And, and then I, like I saw this photographer post something on Instagram and I was like, and it was a travel picture or something. I was like, I could be doing this. Like, I could be traveling, taking pictures. Why am I not doing it? And then I had the idea. And then Grace and was those, like, Yeah, she was gonna do it alone yeah. by herself, <laughs> which is weird to think of now. But then I was just like, Yo, why don't I just come with? That'd so, be dope. So, why are we doing this crazy thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I hated that. Uh, yeah. We do know why, actually. We do. We, we, she, she's we the one with words. Prepared. Okay, so why? So basically, like the way I'm looking at it, both of us are looking at it, is when you're like people our age and when you're in high school, there's so, so, so much pressure on you have to know what you want to go to school for. You have to know what college you want to go to. You have to know what career you want to enter. And if you don't, by the time you're a senior, then basically you're just unprepared. And yeah, yeah. like it's, but I don't like, I don't agree with that. I think it's kind of ridiculous to expect your, like have your whole life plan out when you're 18. Yeah, and we've both known that we wanted to just go out and travel. And like, since, we don't like, have one, like, we don't have a specific, like, normal thing that we yeah, want to do. No, definitely not. And so, before we plan to do this, and obviously, like, when you're going into senior year, everybody's asking you, like, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? How do you want to live? And we would always just say, like, oh, we don't really know, <laughs> like, both of us. Um, and they would kind of, like, most people would just be like, Oh really? Like, well, I want to like figure that, that out. And it's coming close to graduation, probably. and we were always like, we're not worried about it. Like, mm -hmm. we know we'll figure it out. And so this trip is kind of like defying that societal pressure that is put on so many people because we're doing something that's totally out of the normal and totally up in the air. Like, we have stuff planned out, but still, it's like super flexible. Where we leave one place, we're gonna have a place in the next place that we go, but we're just gonna kind of go with it. And, like, yeah. we know where we need to be at certain times based off of certain, like, restrictions since we're not citizens. Oh, yeah, we should talk about that. And we're working with a family in Italy for a month. In northern Italy, close to Milan. But, like, other than that, it's super flexible because we know how much it's going to change. We know we're going to meet people. We're going to go to places we weren't expecting. So, basically what Grace said, like, before we leave one place, we'll have a place in the next place to stay. But we don't necessarily know where all those next places so are. So, if we right want now. it, we can just pack them and be like, yeah, let's go different country tonight and when people ask us what we're doing now and we say that it's like super flexible they're like uh you guys are like you, you're, 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 you're unprepared yeah but we're not like we know exactly what we're doing enough like we do but we don't know how to explain it too also, like I we're planned like. enough mm -hmm. like we have we have flights to get there flights to get home mm -hmm. places to stay most places mm -hmm. we won't have to sleep on the streets just not sleep not eat sometimes we won't we might have to starve because we might run out of money <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, we won't. This is how fun. Schengen. Schengen. So there's this area in Europe called the Schengen area. And we had no idea about it. I mean, you guys might know about it, but we did not. 
And so it's basically, like when you think of Europe, it's basically that area. So mm -hmm. like Germany, France, Spain, Greece, Belgium, Italy. Austria, Italy, or more places. Italy, yeah. And so if you're not a citizen, you can only be in that area, like without a visa, you can only be in that area 90 days, three months, okay. 90 days out of a six month period. It doesn't have to be a consecutive three months, but you can't like... You can't spend three months there, leave for two days, and go back. You have to spend three months, leave for three months, and then you can come back. Mm -hmm. So learning that, we had to change yeah, quite a bit. And so it's kind of a blessing in guys, because we're spending more time in Ireland and the UK, because that's not part of it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, like, Croatia and Romania, which we weren't originally going to go to. Because that's not part of it either. That's not part of it, which looked so cool. Yeah. So cool. I got goosebumps. I'm <laughs> so excited. We're so excited. It's insane. Um, so we leave right now. It's September 10th. 10th. And we leave in two weeks. We leave on September 24th. Each week we'll post a new vlog based on where we were that week and what, what we, we did, did that week. And yeah. also, we're not, so we're gone for eight months, which you think like, oh, you need a lot of clothes for eight months and a lot of stuff. No, no. ma'am. We are packing all our stuff in backpacking backpacks. And if you want to... We're going to vlog that and you can see what we're yeah. packing. We'll vlog our packing because basically we're, yeah, no, we can't pack that much stuff, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's like we're living out of backpacks for eight months. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're not like just doing this YouTube just to do a YouTube. Like we actually do want it, this trip to like connect with people, yeah. impact people because it is such a like unique thing to do and a thing that's not necessarily normal. like normal, but also... I don't know, it's just so crazy. Yeah. I'm so excited. Crazy. So if you want to, subscribe so you can follow us. Peace, love, and fairy dust.